the property not been secured and then just your mirrors this time? Do you do that? Probably not secure, not broken loose or missing. And now you want to make sure they're properly adjusted. Okay. Okay? Right. Okay. Now you can move into the... Okay, so now go into your light, your lamp test. So... Um, cardiac emergency, terrible Roadhouse, 1750 South. Um, Valley Boulevard for a 26-year-old female with chest pain from um, cardiac emergency. Terribles rolled out 1750 South Front Valley Boulevard for a 26-year-old female with chest pain to such clear Okay. Uh, go through each gauge, make sure that they're working. Gauge uh, 1. Gauge 1 to 13. Which they are, the, the meter's moving. Uh, and then for this truck to be in the operating range, it has to be, their PSI has to be Your water temperature should uh, it'll go up. It's gonna go up and down as the truck runs. Uh, same with the oil and uh, and your transmission. Let's just back that's up how a second. That's so on the gauges, let's go through the gauges and just say all the gauges: the oil gauge, the water gauge, the uh, transmission, the battery, all appear to be working properly. Okay. Specify that. So your battery, you need to specify if it's a volt meter or an amp. You have to use the word volt. Cool. Okay, it's a volt meter, right? It says yeah, it volt meter. Okay, after you've done all that and you've completed everything, then go to your air brake stuff. And when you do your air brake stuff, that's when you talk about the pressure on your, on your pressure gauge. Okay. It's at 120, which is properly. Okay, so, so finish, so finish all this say, first. So my oil, my transmission, my water gauges all appear to be working. And that's it. Okay. Working within their proper limits. Working within their proper limits. My battery is, uh, so how would you do the, this, my battery is a volt battery, or how would you say that, like, what would you say? Checking the volt meter. Checking the, and I'm checking my volt meter, and it's on the okay. Check that check. Alright. If you mess up and you say I'm checking the battery. Check that check, water's morning, 1750 South Brown Valley Boulevard for cardiac emergency. Which is a volt meter. Check that check, water's morning, 1050. You have to use that word, though. What so, else are you going to check before you go to air? Uh, fuel? Call oh, my horn. Yes. Watch your horn works. Where else does it work at? Right here. Oh, right here. Right there it is. Perfect. Okay. Now go ahead and do your air brake test. Right. So, air brakes. Cut this is off. Push this in. Should fill this roll, okay. So we rolled to the front of the brake, it feels like, the front of the chalk. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, so with this truck, the minimum operating range is supposed to be 120, or from 100 to 120. I'm gonna hold down on the brake. Turn it off too much. What are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. So I'm turning it on so that I can make sure that the, there's pressure with inside the air system. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold the brake pedal down and I'm gonna hold it down for one minute. The PSI shouldn't drop below three. It's gonna, it's gonna drop a little and then it's gonna settle. And then once I hold it, it shouldn't drop below, it shouldn't drop more than three it PSI. It shouldn't lose more than three PSI it shouldn't, for okay. this test. Okay. It shouldn't lose more than three PSI. This it test. has to be a minute. So you're either gonna, you're gonna ask whoever's testing you to time you for a minute. Okay. Or you're gonna count to 60. All right, I'll have you time you me for a minute. Okay, so okay. go ahead and do your thing. So we time it for a minute. Minutes up. What are okay. we going to do next? So minutes up. So now we're going to do the brake test. Or not the brake test, but now what we're going to do is I'm going to bleed the brakes. Okay. Um, looking that the audible alarm will kick on before 60. And that the uh, audible and visual alarm will kick on before 60. And that the brake will pop before uh, 25. Perfect. <laughs> So there's your audible visual. Okay, and my brake kicked out right now, the emergency brake is engaged. So now I'm going to turn the truck back on and rebuild the pressure up in there. Okay. 
so your alarm should go off at what PSI? Uh, the alarm should turn off or it should go off come, come on. It should come on. It should come on at about I think it's 60. 65. 65. 60 to 65, but 65 is the specified. It's specified. Right. Now, when should this set? 25. What's the What's the range? Between 30 and 25. 25 and 35. 25 and 35. Okay. Yeah. Somewhere in there is where your your parking alarm, your parking brake on any truck is going to automatically set if okay. it's working correctly. Okay. So you said this one hit 25 or 30? Uh, it 20, it's like right at 20, okay, so speci 25. specify that when it goes off. Okay, my park, my uh, parking brake automatic is set. I'm at approximately 30. Okay. Then, then you're done. Okay. 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 You gave me the PSIs before, which you were within the range, so let's, that's why I said all right. Go ahead. Okay. Now we just want to see that it actually does it, right. so it passes the test. Okay. So during the test, just tell. Okay. You can it, tell it, engaged, it engaged at 60. Right. I'm doing my test. Okay, we're at a minute. I haven't lost three psi. I'm gonna span the brake. My alarm should go off before by the time I hit 60. Okay, alarm's going off. It's at 65. I'm gonna keep fanning the brake. Parking brake should automatically set itself at no less. Dispatch than back one on location. It's 30. One seven five zero seven. Chrome five one. Chrome five eight ten twenty. Go ahead, put the chocks away. I'm gonna take it for a drive.